right, today what I want to show you guys is a quick little blurb. I want to keep these uh, tutorials real short, show you one, two little things every time I do one of these, just so you can get familiar, familiar with Premiere Pro. So what I have done so far is I've opened up Premiere Pro and I've gotten to the opening splash screen where it asks you to go ahead and uh, do a new pro project, open an existing project, or whatever you want to do. I just clicked on new project and brought this up. But what I want to do today is show you how to set your scratch disk. So what you're going to do is you can have a general panel here. You're going to have a scratch disk panel over here, and you're going to click on scratch disk. Now, I have this set from a previous project that I was working on earlier this morning, and now I want to go ahead and put this actual file into where I'm going to put all my web tutorials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to here. This is going to be where my project file is going to be located. I'm going to go ahead and navigate. And I'm going to go to my external hard drive, this one right here, since I have like three of them open. I'm going to go to my Matthew J. Dirks hard drive, and I'm going to go find my folder I made called Tutorials. And since this is a Premiere tutorial, I'm going to open it up in Premiere, and I'm going to just hit Choose. Now that sets my project file. Now we have four different other ones that are going to happen. <clears throat> we have our capture video, our audio capture, our video previews, and our audio previews. And these uh, bottom two are basically going to be render files, and these are going to be if you pull something off of a tape or whatnot. So it's real easy. Now that I've set my bottom one, all I have to do, go up to Browse, and ta-da, it already knows that this is the last folder I went in. It's going to say, do you want to save it there? I'm just going to hit Return. And you can see up here it's changed already. Now I'm going to go down to the next one. Yep, yep again. It knows where it wants. Hit return. Go up here. Return. Go up to the next one. Hit return. And we're set. Now everything is set for my, heart, my volumes, my hard drive, my folder, and which program I'm working in. So I'm just going to hit OK. And Premiere Pro is going to bring up the next screen. So... This is a screen I want to talk about just a, a bit so you understand what's going on with this. There are a lot of different types of camera formats out there that uh, the camera actually shoots in. When you are going to make a sequence for your uh, Premiere Pro project, it behooves you to understand what you are shooting in. A lot of cameras these days are shooting in something like AVC HD, which we have up here, or AVC Intra. Those are more consumer camera um, files as they've been deemed uh, years ago, but now they're actually kind of getting a little bit better on the more prosumer side. If you're using a DSLR, you also have an option here. So this would be the one if you're using like a Canon T2i or Canon, Mark, uh, or Canon 5D Mark III or II to do video. And you still also have your options, if you're still shooting on tape and standard definition, to go into your DV uh, files, which is digital video. And NTSC is for uh, my American, North American uh, folk out there. And PAL is going to be our Asian and European format. Uh, the pixels are squished in two different directions on them. So if depending on where you live, it's going to uh, be where, what file you're going to choose. But remember, this is... North America, this is Europe and Asia. So I usually shoot in AVC HD. Oh, let's do a DSLR one. So if we go down to a DSLR, you're going to get to all the different formats that you can shoot out of. I got a Canon T2i that I use once in a while, so I usually shoot in 1080, which is right here. I'll go down, and I'll go ahead and look at uh, the settings. Now we're going to see 24 frames a second is going to be the more film look. You can set your DSLR to do that. That's uh, a lot of people like that. It, they say it looks better. The 30 frames or the 29 frames per second or 29.97 is usually more of a TV thing. Uh, if you shot your footage in that format, you go ahead and select that. And if you shot for European style, oh, you do the 25. Uh, I did 25 frames per second, uh, so oops. But that shows you exactly what, uh, where you can find your file format and what you need to do with it. All right, thanks. This has been a tutorial by Matthew.